What up, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Jez, welcome back to another Madden 16 video. Today we're showcasing round two of the $600 tournament that I hosted yesterday. Now, uh, there's no round one game because my round one opponent was unable to show up. Uh, he said he got called into work, so I got forwarded to round two. And we're going up against uh, D, D, I'm not even sure how to pronounce that, but um, he won his round one game, so here we go in round two, so this is his second game, and technically my first, and um, we entered the tournament, because I'm doing it on both consoles, um, each winner, the winner on the PS4 side and the winner on Xbox One side, each get $300, and I'm upping it, look at the stick work that we got, son! I'm upping it up $100 every tournament until we get to August. In August, it's going to be a $2,000 tournament. I'm going to pay out $1,000 on the Xbox side, $1,000 on the PlayStation side. Should be a lot of fun. So, um, this is our first time playing. I signed up on the PlayStation 4 side because the PlayStation 4 side, at least for the people who signed up, um, the, the competition on the PS4 side was disgusting. It was really, 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 really good. Um, so I seen all the people like you know what like uh, let me sign up on the ps4 side You know, uh, there's plenty of goons over there. So let me see uh, what we can get going on over there Plus, you know, I got a 95 overall team. So to me team doesn't matter Our team is definitely good enough to beat any team in the game right now Once you once you hit 93 94 overall your team is good enough to beat any game any team as of now Once golden tickets come out, that might be a different story if you face a 99 and all of their players have 102 speed right here we had a free play because he was off sides. So we chucked it up, you know, hope for the best. <laughs> but it was uh, uh, incomplete. But we accept the penalty and uh, we got a first down anyway. So um, right here, doing what I do best, man. Running the ball, trying to waste as much time as possible, trying to be smart with the time control, trying to give him as little time as possible to go on ahead and make his drive. Right there, aggressive catch. I was hoping we get stopped on the one, but we ended up scoring. So we take a 14-0 lead. Horrible kick by me. Never mind, Mulligan. I thought that was out of bounds. Uh, it was out of bounds. I thought it was going to be a penalty. So uh, here we go back in on defense. And again, this is the first time we played each other. So I'm um, really not knowing what to expect. You know, I'm just hoping that uh, we can make another stop. And then I feel like game would be over if we can get a stop and, and somehow put some points up. Because he gets ball at halftime. It's a fumble! Unfortunately, we did not recover. If we got the ball there, I feel like game would have been over. The only rule... Oh, one-on-one -on -one situation. Good job, Sherm. The only rules I have for the tournament are um, no onside kicking unless it's the fourth quarter. And the person doing the onside kick must be losing. Um, no turbo blitzes. No... Um, I mean, pretty much that's about it, man. Everything else, you know, any blitz you want to send, B-gap, A-gap, Q-gap, <laughs> whatever you want to send, you know, um, you know, uh, that's fine. Just no turbos. Right here, we hit a beautiful cover four beater right there. We'll lock it, and we get ourselves a, a huge gain. So we're an opportunity right here to hopefully put up another seven on the board. And now, we don't have any timeout, so we got to be smart right here. Third and one right here uh we are uh possession catch that we get stopped on the two yard line i know huddle just to spike it and the last thing i want to do is get tackled and um not be able to come away points so it's like you know let's just play smart let's just take our three points head on into the uh half up 14 now i scored every time i had the ball so um defensively he's not really giving me any trouble now the rough thing is once i see the tournament once I seen the bracket, because the bracket, it's all randomized. Like, I literally have no control. I don't even control the brackets. I actually have somebody put the brackets together for me. But it's literally randomized. When I looked in my side of the bracket, because <clears throat> we had 190 people sign up for the Xbox. And 100 and... How many people signed up for the PlayStation? I think like 120 signed up for the PlayStation. And um, everything went by quick, man. It only took us like five hours to get all the games over with. Beautiful, beautiful one-on-one -on -one catch with them right there. In round three, once I seen the brackets come out, I will be playing Stevie J. If you guys don't know, I'm Stevie J. He's one of the toughest players in the community on the PlayStation side. And I was like, great. If I make it to him, I got a hell game in round three. Like, already, like, that's too soon to be playing such an amazing top-tier opponent. You know, um, he was ranked um, in, in draft champions, like, top 10 and freaking head-to-heads. You know, he was ranked, like, top 10 with a record of, you know, he makes e-books. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, <laughs> when you're going up against somebody who can find their own offensive scheme and blitzes and sell it, and, like, that's, you know, glitchy. But, nonetheless, we got to win this game first to even get to him since this is technically round two. 
Stevie J is already waiting for the winner of this game. So right here, very stupid decision by me. Why is it a stupid decision? I'm already in field goal range. All I need is a field goal to go up two possessions. It's going to be very difficult for him to come back and win. What I do best is time management, and that's the perfect situation for me. Go up two possessions, and I completely failed right there. Throwing it into the flash, I threw an interception right here. He ends up getting a huge gain. I clicked on the wrong guy, unfortunately, and just... Ah, he's very close to scoring, so it looks like we're going to be heading out into overtime because I'm stupid, and instead of just running the ball and kicking a field goal, worst case scenario, I ended up giving up an interception. Right at third and goal, he ends up scoring, but he ends up going for two. I'm never saw as almighty hell, and somehow we got an under center A gap. How? I do not know. We recover the onside kick, and we end up winning the game, and we go on, we advance to round three against Stevie J. How we got that A-gap to come in under center? Pfft, I don't know. I wish I knew. John Randall just decided to come in screen. I wish I knew how to do that. I'd do it more often. <laughs> but nonetheless, we end up winning, and we will face Stevie J, one of the toughest players in the tournament, next game. And we're going to upload that next. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. Follow me on Twitter. See you guys next video. Peace.